Well, hey guys, so in this video we're going to install the camshaft and the idler shaft. And I took the gears off them to clean them and, and then now I have to reinstall them. So I've taken the liberty of doing the camshaft already. So that's in place. And now we're going to do the idler shaft. So, in order to get the idler shaft, or sorry, the gears on the shafts, in order to make this install easy, I put the part on the stove and heat it up. And then it slides on without using a press. So, I don't have a, well, I do have a small press, but nothing uh, for this kind of a job. So, we're just going to go get our gloves on because it's hot. So we put our thrust bearing on, this is a slightly used thrust bearing, it's still a measured spec, so we're going to reuse it. The other one didn't uh, measure up so well, so I put a brand new one on that one. But, uh, anyway, make sure I got all this stuff here. Is that it was a bit hard starting because I had the key in uh, wasn't adjusted I had the key out Putting a plate on this later that'll lock that nut once it's torqued. But uh, <laughs> that's all. the O's on this thing. Okay, 
that in a second. So those are the O's, that's standard timing on this engine. thrust washers to 35 foot-pounds. <clears throat> Thirty-five foot-pounds. through. Make sure there's no binding. Yeah, it looks really nice. Should be a bit of end play. We can measure that. But it's, uh, it feels really good. Next is the idler shaft. And it looks like I'll have to put a new bushing in this one, I think. Well, guys, I put the uh, <clears throat> idler gear in and bearings. And they're used parts, but I did mic them again, and they're well within tolerance. So, uh, the last check is the thrust bearings. And minimum is six thou, and I can just run a six thou in there, so um, perfect. So six thou to a maximum of seventeen thou wear limits. So there's lots of wear left in this unit, so we're just going to run it. I thought I might have to change the bearing in it, but that's within tolerance. So I've got a brand new bearing here. But uh, we'll just save it for another engine. Maybe this uh, 253 build. Um, it's in pretty hard shape, so maybe for that one. But, uh, let's see, and I did change the hub. This was the hub, and it was worn uh, out of tolerance. So. I put a different hub on the engine. And that brought the slack out of it, so all within um, usable tolerances. I mentioned earlier about the timing of this engine, so I'm setting it up as standard timing. And this is right hand rotation, and 
these marks all line up with these circles. So for a right hand rotating engine. So. And then we just run her through, make sure everything's nice and free. And it is. <clears throat> and for a left hand rotation engine, somebody asked me, can these engines run left or right? And they can. So this is a left hand um, orientation. And what would happen here is you would have the idler gear over here for left hand rotating engine and you would mark up the diamonds and you see there's the diamonds there so we'll line up the diamonds if we can there's the diamonds <clears throat> so on a left hand rotation engine you'd have the idler gear over here and then you'd have the orientation here would be up here for the um, left hand rotation and that's all there is to it. Oh, oh yeah well of course you'd have to change the the pump put it to the other side you have to change the uh, rotation of the, the oil pump and all that stuff too so so that's it for the timing gears on the engine guys um, I'll put the front cover on now and the oil pump and everything and make sure everything spins freely there and again thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode on this build thanks a lot